Following defeat in week one of the Mitre 10 Cup, the Steelers travelled to their first away game of the season in Hawke's Bay. With COVID-19 alert levels lowered across the country, the rugby season has the all clear to continue. I'll frame it this way. I think all in context around the year that, that's been going on, in terms of what, everyone's just grateful just the actual rugby's back on. So whatever opportunity we can take to, I mean, that f***ed Buster Wellington, if you know what I mean. Like, they, they, they seriously would. Or they'd drive a car, you know, to play a game. Like, the, everyone's just that grateful that uh, we get the ability to play the game that they love. So it's actually quite refreshing. <laughs> Anytime you get to connect as a group and, and go away for a short period of time, it's always a good thing. Don't get me wrong, we're not here to joke and laugh around all the time. I don't stand a job if, uh, if I build happy environments. Yeah, performance is quite critical. Yes, boys! <laughs> it comes down to wins and losses. Hey, um, I'm not going to ask you how you're feeling because I know everyone's feeling good. This is just real brief. I'm mean, straight to the point. What about the ground there? Okay, so start with the intensity we must bring. Right, when we cross that line, right, we've got to bring the heat. Right, that's a non negotiable. The next one, discipline. Don't let these f off the hook. Right, real simple, boys. We do this consistently, I'll bring the doubt in their minds right here. We ain't going anywhere today. It's a good day out there. Enjoy each other's company. Enjoy playing codes with each other. But people tend to forget why we play rugby. That's enjoyment and being with the brothers out there. Be, enjoy being in open space. Enjoy being in those dark places. One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! Auburn Ledger leading out Counties Manukau at 17 point defeat at home to Tasman last weekend and it's a busy period as well. Baden Kerr gets us underway in the Napier Sunshine. <laughs> Looks right, goes left, back on the inside. Good work that from Tom Parsons. Home short. Slowly creeping forward here. Healy flips the pass back to Weber and Hawks Bay go in. Baker floats the pass out. The Samir gets through one. Oh, arm went out. Time off. Okay, it's reckless as high through contact. It's a yellow card. Not much argument from Sam Slay. It's 10 minutes in the Simbin. Ledger bouncing around. Where's this one going to go? Collected eventually by Baker. Down the far right hand side. He's got support on the inside. Weber for the corner. Spinning. Spits out. Palau. Bakatava. Bang it into touch. And referee maybe says that'll do. And Hawks Bay dominated the first half and held on to the second. Yeah, I was pissed off. Our effort was, was terrible. Our discipline was terrible. Our actual intent to get into the game wasn't right. Yeah, that's definitely not how we wanted to represent ourselves. Because we're better than us. We know that, we feel it. Half play rugby, we got two miles in the bit. Right? We're saying all the right shit. We're just going to go down the door. But next week it comes a very important place for this game. Okay, so we'll look at our wounds here. We've got to take this, this experience that we're learning right now. We've got to make this count. Boogie Dama throws, good take there. Slay. Again, Counties Marco set the ball, they drive forward. And they're over. Try and score it. That'll be half time. It's Counties Monaco who lead Northland 12 points to three. Uh, morning, everyone. Just in terms of the day, uh, we'll review Morton this morning. Um, some real good takeouts from finding a way to win. What we'll do, we'll look at some key moments within the half. 
Okay, so straight away, hot on attack. We're really in control here. Down the right count, counting Spadako into open space. Baden Kerr was close to getting the third for counties. We nail that. That's one now in the coffin. Scoreboard pressure. Real simple. Short side, Kerr. Oh, can that ball taken by Rene Ranger? And open space. Ranger, he's got Nuno Saturo bearing down. Great tackle. Olsen has a crack, the captain. And Olsen scores. Relentless pressure from Northland. Ben O'Keefe, the knock goes wide. Hawkins with the wipers kick across. Oh, beautifully done. Bessie Lelua scores for Northland. Northland win this one, 24 points to 15. Feedback was that we sort of lost a bit of spark about us, a bit of energy, a bit of, let's get the knife back in. Okay, so what I don't want you guys to do is go in your shells. All right, when it starts to get, the arm wrestle starts coming, all right, keep the energy up. There's still a lot of rugby to go, and we're only down by two. You know, there's still a lot to give. So we've got to train that. We have to train that this week. After three defeats from the opening three games, counties must pick themselves up and address their poor form before the visit of Manawatu at the end of the week. It's a balance, isn't it? Like, um, it's a six-day turnaround, so you only really get two good days to prepare. Uh, so you've got to be quite specific around what you really want to achieve, what are the big rocks for the day. And we let ourselves down last week. Uh, we are in a position where, you know, we are up at half-time. Uh, we should have be, been up by more early in that second half, and, and then we let things snowball. So we took a lot of learnings around how do we deal with, uh, with that again? Uh, you know, what sort of solutions will we have as a group? An important element of the coaching is to recreate match conditions on the training field. The coaches split the squad into two teams, running the starting 15 against the rest of the squad. Right, boys, can get our non-starters into the bibs, please? Before recreating in-game scenarios for the team to navigate. Okay, let's kick it off, going down. On me, Bates. Yeah, nice, Cody. Shoulders on, shoulders on, boys, shoulders on. Nice, Dale, nice, McKay. Stay strong up top, eh? One more block to go. There's a real strong intensity. Uh, it's hard to explain sometimes, like you can, you can feel it. You can feel the energy within the players and in the coaches. Coaches have been edgy. This week's been very edgy for the coaching group. There have been a lot of debates around different areas of, of the team, especially around selection. Uh, everyone gets their say and you know, you, and you challenge. Yeah, we had a bit of a tussle, myself and Dino. He's just as competitive as me and he wants to win as well. So, you know, we, we, we aired things out after the first session and they give each other a bit of a cuddle when we moved on. <laughs> get him, get him, Nate, close him! Hey boys, just one thing for me. This is real good pressure, real good. Keep going. There it is, there it is. Good work. How do we feel, boys? Awesome. That was hissing. He really stretched the D. A real good exercise there, but good work, good accuracy. But we kept bringing it back to the start when we made a mistake. Let's get that right, JT. Reset, connections, those little things are gonna help. Remember we spoke about in the review, when we started snowballing, we connect eyes, leaders real good. Real clear on the next play. Great work. That is rugby union. <laughs> <laughs> what was happening in the past is in the past, and we're dealing with the here and now. Even though we haven't had a, had a win, we are improving. So we're keeping that positive energy around the, around the place because it's important. After the first three rounds, the Steelers are still tinkering with their starting lineup. One player that has returned from injury and pushed his way into the starting 15 is winger Tavita Nabura. It's actually unfair, the actual size of him and his, his actual physical makeup. Man, what an athlete. And now a chance. Nabura! player of unquestionable physical capability, Nabura's journey from Fiji to Super Rugby has been stunted by injury and suspension. It's been two years, have, haven't been playing in the um, rugby, so can't wait, can't wait to um, get any chance to get back on the field and um, doing what I love to do. So coming back here lucky, 
Oh, can't just give me another chance. Welcome back, man. You're a long time. You've been back on the field, so what did you get out there? You know, you hear the physical reports from, you know, our, our medical team. It's just, it's ridiculous. It's like he's on par with guys who are not even injured. But he's still not 100% in terms of strength within his own body. So, he's, yeah, he's an absolute freak. Hopefully he plays like a freak in the weekend. <laughs> Tavita has been playing rugby professionally in New Zealand for four years, but it all started with a soldier, a bus stop and a Facebook post. I accidentally bumped into one of the guys from um, Wellington, he's, um, he's an army, and then they saw me and um, by the hotel I was just sitting there, uh, waiting for the bus to go back home. And then they were asking me, oh, are you playing rugby? Then he took one of my photos, posted it up on the Facebook, like, oh, this guy's a good rugby player looking to come to New Zealand. Then where you could saw it, they were looking for a wing and they um, approached me on that. A lot of the boys in the islands, like, you hear those stories around the NRL as well. You know, it just came out of nowhere. And it was a loose forward who ended up being a super rugby winger. And potentially, you know, if he wasn't injured, it could be an All Black. I mean, these are the things that you hear. In my team, I was the only um, duck guy there. I was like, oh, a bit in my cell. I can't even speak English. Yes and no, They're just that, yes and no. With a lot of the kids that come over from, from the islands, when you first move into a new area, like not having family around, it's a bit lonely sometimes. We have to get comfortable before we actually open up ourselves. As, um, as you notice for most boys, they're pretty quiet. They're pretty always hiding around the back and keeping a low profile. To be honest, when I came over, I didn't know anything about contract, on rugby contract, even agents. Yeah, I didn't know every player that plays my return in Super Rugby, they're getting contract and getting paid. Can't believe I, I was, yeah, I, I went down to the Highlanders. Yeah, I was, I was happy, proud moment for me. For his first couple of seasons, Tavita was going back and forth to Fiji until he was able to bring his young family over to live with him. They were here for like, couple of years. Then my second one, born when we were down in um, Dunedin, they went back home to get the passport and the visa for the baby. Just one week when they got home and then the lockdown happened. And then, yeah, now they can get back into bed. Seven months now, so. After his contract was up with the Highlanders, Nabura made the journey north to familiar territory. Needing a place to live, Tavita took a room in a flat with former teammate and county's community officer, Bunga Tangi Thakumbo. Family's a big thing. And uh, when you're away from family, you tend to miss them a lot. You know, we can always keep an eye on each other and um, we do have our, uh, our devotions, our, our church service every now and then. I think I'll put it that way. It brings home closer to us, brings uh, our families closer to us, the island and everything, um, everything about the, uh, the Fijian lifestyle. I mean, the food that we eat, you know, it reminds us of, of home. I think the main thing is just having the right people around you help you excel in this um, journey, I guess. And, and the boys love him, obviously, you can, you can feel that. And he loves the boys, he loves the union. Uh, even though it's been a while, but, you know, he'll go out there and compete, and I'm looking forward to seeing him out there. I'm very mindful that it's been a long time between drinks for a lot of the players and you know, the fans and the, and the staff around having a win. We never talk that way around here. There's a real special group here that's rolling up the sleeves on a day to day and there's a general feel, it's not too far, you can feel it. The way that we're preparing, you know, you, you don't go that way, you don't do those things and nothing happens, like it's going to happen. We said about a week ago, right, we want to get back into the arena. It's here. The moments of truth will happen, boys. It's how you connect through the game, all right, it's how you're going to nail it together. All right, this is us for a long period of time today. All right, coaches, good decisions. All right, everyone at their best, no excuses. One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! One, two, three, go! Can they create some opportunity? Here's Ledger, puts his ball to vote, sends Tavita Nambura after it. Where's it going to sit into touch? Oh, thrilling first minute of play. 
great tackle by Fasita. Been working hard, boys. He says, let's, let's go back to where we came from. It's contact on the kicker. He's got to be more careful. Can't go flying into a kicker like that. Excites, Mickey. All of the great work they've done defensively once again now is put back on his team and they need to fight one more time from their line. Manawatu got a different option. Peeling off and charging to the line and this time the rover. Manawatu get the try and here comes Toffa oh, through the middle. Where he goes James Toffa and Manawatu score a second in as many minutes through second by eight James Toffa. Get that kick off the fence sort of please. Talmatina collected and away. Two. They win it through Liam Mitchell and they set to work. Driving towards the line, Manawatu! Superb try! Tommy and Tommy fights Matia Martin. It starts to move forward. County the meter from the line. Over the line they go and they get the try. And we'll go to the break here in Pukekohe. A highly entertaining first half of Saturday afternoon football. Talk about this every week. How are we going to get that message through? How do we stay on time? How do we be disciplined at the break down? Boys, in the middle, our, our back's going to drive a little bit more. Our speed and position needs to be a little bit better, boys. We're just getting too flat. We're not working hard enough off the ball. We need to improve that, all of us, OK? This is going to come down to moments, boys. Individual moments. Right, the same switch on up here. OK, guys on the bench, get ready to go. She's a hot one out there. We need you. Two minutes. Right, a lot of spark plugs coming off the bench. We're going to raise the tempo of this game up another level. Right, and now you're going to live with it. Okay, so stay on, stay solid top, up top. Key moments, boys. Let's go, boys. Come on, fellas. It's up 40. Tempo, tempo! Collected by Eves. Clowns the call. Opportunity here. Freeze the arms too. Out and tops it. Who's going to collect it? Whitus. Advantage is being played here for Manawa too. Picked up by Tokia. Well, that have to have a look. The try back gets given. Can we put Lou to fullback and Jason will go to 10? Uh, we believe the ball's got to the line, but can you just review that and advise if anything different? Time on. Change at 10 as well. Baden Kirk comes off and Lutiru Laulala goes on. Uh, Robertson holds, holds, eventually releases, but it's out to Nittany. No, no, it's a two. Here's the Lala opportunity here for County's Manukau. Go, go, Lou. Bring him under. Taken down two metres from the line. He gets a double! Yes! Who's oh, that? Yes. Thunder. Flags raised. And just like that, it's a three-point ball game. There's plenty of time left in this one. That's the 22 meter line. Back left they come. La la la. Tips on here, bro. Go, go! Oh, Martino. Flat tires. Come on, they run! Yes! Lady, me, what a ball. What's work, boys? Flings it in the field to Lalo. Go, Nate. Go, Nate. Left foot, left foot, man. Oh, here's Anthony Nano Saturo. Nano Saturo, straight over halfway goes. Anthony Nano Saturo gets rid of one, still going. Now we got Now we got him. Part the back. Ten That's minutes it. of this one. Robertson. Lalo. Sheer panic. Who's calling this shit up there? 
Bell to get one last shot at him. Oh, so County surely this time. Thank get the f***ing thing out. Comes back from County. Robinson runs into the crowd and bangs it away. And County's Malco get the win. Thanks for that. <laughs> Nearly killed it for ourselves. We we kicked the ball out before the full 80 minutes. Just kind of we could have give, gifted them a game a few times, but I suppose our defence held true. And great to get the win and end that drought we had. <laughs> Go, go, go. JT! 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 Proud of that effort, eh? Uh, keep rolling with this confidence, eh, boys? Shout out to the bench, boys, eh? You guys want us the game, boys, the energy. Keep it on, eh? It was good. First step of the season. It's only up from here. But I thought our bench came on yesterday. It was unreal from them. We spoke at the start of the week. It was coming. We felt it. The guys who came on, phenomenal job. Phenomenal. Really proud of the effort in the end. And can't make the shit up, boys. Getting the ball out a minute before full time. But... <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, as a group, we live through every moment together. But this is dedicated to every single staff member, coach, fan, ex-player. It's been a long time coming for a win. For many players, this will be the first time they have sung the team's victory song. It's a moment to savour as the team look to take this feeling into the rest of the season. We haven't got too many lives left, so to speak, but there's still time. Uh, we get it right. Uh, we'll give ourselves an opportunity to be in the semi-final, so we're in the fight. Resilience is built through being confronted by challenges. It's about helping these young men on and off the field as well. The team has always had a real good culture and there's a special bond between these players. 